Good morning. Today we're here at Dollar General. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, as soon as we come into Dollar General here, I did want to point out that the canned vegetables, uh, we get kind of mixed reviews on the Clover Valley canned vegetables. No more three for two dollars anymore. They are 75 cents a can. I have noticed that the pinto beans and other beans of the Clover Valley have gone up to a dollar fifteen. Dollar fifteen. These used to be ninety-five cents, and they do have the Pennsylvania Dutch, Dutchman mushrooms here. Dollar fifty now. Dollar fifty for those. About the same prices as everywhere. They do have the pieces and stems though here for a dollar still. Got some comments on this, so I wanted to point it out. They have some different deals on different pasta sauces. Always check the uh, instantly save a dollar. Always check all the stickers here. Also, anything in question, also take a picture of it so they'll give it to you for that price at the register if it's wrong. Um, they do have Classico here, two dollars and fifty cents. We saw that cheaper at Walmart. Same with Ragu. Ragu was right under two dollars at Walmart. Two dollars and fifty cents here. No longer a value store here at Dollar General anymore. We can always usually find better deals, but it is another option. They do have the two-pound family size thing of spaghetti for $2.35. That seems a little pricey. Not as pricey as like compared to Barilla, though. Pretty much everywhere we've seen pounds of Barilla spaghetti go for about $2 a box. $1.75 here, so it's about a quarter cheaper. Some of these juices have really gone up too. Five dollars for this Welch's juice. White grape. Wow. You can see where they put a new sticker over this, so um yeah, seems like a lot of these. These were two ninety five, two eighty five not that long ago for the Clover Valley juices, three eighty five now. Let's see the ocean spray. Uh three fifty, that's about the same as it is pretty much anywhere else. Three forty nine at Kroger. Um, let's see, they do have some other Clover Valley juices. What the heck? Three forty-five for this cranberry juice. It used to be two ninety-five, and actually, this was uh, this one right here was two ninety-five, not two eighty-five. They have the Nor pasta sides here and rice sides. Dollar thirty-five a bag, though. Seems a little pricey. These were a dollar twenty-five. So I don't see any real holiday deals going on here at Dollar General. I do have an ad. We make over a couple of these things here later. Uh, this doesn't start until Thursday the 10th. Today is Tuesday, uh, November 8th. So these deals don't come up for a few days. We'll go over some of these sales here in a little bit. Regular price of Campbell's Chunky is $2.20. They do have them on sale though. Five cents off, $2.15, $2.49, two fifty at Kroger. So good deal here. They do have some of the kitchen classics here for a dollar still. These are a dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree, so better deal here. Looks like they do have a bit of a sale on the Progresso, two for four dollars. This lasts until November twelfth, so we have a few days on this. Get these for two dollars a can. It's a pretty good deal. I notice they have the cream of mushroom Clover Valley soup here for a dollar. All the cream of Clover Valley soups are a dollar. Um, 99 cents at Myers for the Campbell's version, and tomorrow at Kroger they will be 89 cents a can, so way better than $1.50 a can on Campbell's. Really what I kind of wanted to get to here was some of the baking options. I had a lot of comments that it's been really hard to find cornstarch and baking soda, and I gotta say it's pretty low here. They do have a one pound thing of cornstarch for $1.55, it's $1.49 at Meyer. Uh, $3.50 here for this big thing of baking soda and $1 for this one small uh, pound. This is four pounds for $3.50 of baking soda. This is one pound for a dollar. They also have the Bisquick here, which we've been getting some comments on for $5.50. They do have their Clover Valley spices here for a dollar. We get a lot of comments on these and how good they are. Yeah, we've tried a lot of Clover Valley spices. They are pretty good. Uh, we like the ones from uh, Dollar Tree also, but these are still a dollar. Ones at Dollar Tree are now a dollar twenty-five. They also have a lot of these gravy packets, the brown gravy McCormick for a dollar here. Uh, some of the taco seasoning McCormick, three for two dollars. Yeah, some okay sales here. Some Progresso breadcrumbs for two bucks. They do have a bit of a discount on the five-pound bags of gold medal flour, two for six dollars. Making those $3 a piece. That's the cheapest we've seen it anywhere, really. 
They do have the Clover Valley five pound thing of all-purpose flour and self-rising flour. Uh, 280 for the self-rising flour and five cents more for the all-purpose flour. That's funny. You would think that would be the other way around. They do have the smaller two pound bags for a dollar here. Got some Splenda zero calorie sweetener, 275 for that bag. And they have their four pound bags of sugar for 265. It's actually about 20 cents cheaper than we've been seeing anywhere. It is 275 at Aldi right now. So yeah, it's even cheaper than that. So we are a couple weeks away from Thanksgiving. So we are trying to keep a good eye on some of these baking things that we know people are going to want for Thanksgiving. Now they have these marshmallows here, 10 ounces for a dollar. Now we saw the big Jet Puff bags, name brand, for 50 cents at Meyer this week, so keep that in mind. They do have the chocolate Toll House morsels here. Uh, two for five dollars, we saw this same sale at Meyer, um, And three dollars for some of these other ones is the regular prices it is everywhere. Um, now this particular Dollar General still has 48 ounces of Crisco, so I don't know if they're just not selling them, but it is $5.50. I'm going to check yours out. $3.30 for the Clover Valley vegetable oil, which that's pretty cheap. Uh, most store brands have been $3.99. Again, anything in question, always take a photograph. Um, at least around here, they will give it to you for the price that it is on the shelf, so keep that in mind. Boy, Jello has just gotten so expensive everywhere now. Dollar thirty-five for that now. That's that's crazy. That's about the same as it is everywhere. Uh, they do have the Clover Valley cherry and apple pie filling. Cherry filling is going to be three dollars and fifteen cents. Two dollars and fifty cents for the apple pie filling. Let us know down in the comments if you have tried uh, the Clover Valley Clover Valley pie fillings and if they're any good check out the coffee here for a minute they actually have the uh, 12k cups of the Folgers on sale for $6.95 we've been seeing these for $10 at places so that's a pretty good deal regular price $8.25 $9.50 for the donut shop yeah it's $8.99 pretty much everywhere so not much more but we can usually find this on sale at places they also have Folgers here now this is a smaller Folgers can uh, this is 20.6 ounces, so not the normal 25.9 ounces uh, for 10.59, um, but 9.25, or I'm sorry, 11.49 at Kroger for the 25.9 ounces, 9.25 here for the 20.6 ounces. They have some of the smaller ones on sale here. Let's see, no, that's 19.2 ounce. Is that the, is that 19.2? No, that's 22.6. I don't know. It looks like these are all 925 though, meaning they're right in the range of what the extra ounces would be to the number of what it cost at like Kroger or Meyer. So uh, you're just getting a little bit less. They do have the Maxwell House for 1029. We've been seeing Maxwell House this size, uh, pretty much under ten dollars everywhere for regular price. It was 9.79 on sale at Kroger. So I don't know. It's still a little expensive here. Some of these sales you just have to either check online or check up at the front because it says Dunkin' Donuts, K-Cups. Oh, okay, it does say French Vanilla on here. Okay, $6.95. I did not see that before. Also has the hazelnut, hazelnut down here for $6.95. These, you know, $8.75, usually right around $8.99 to $9.49 for the Dunkin' Pods. So right on par with all the other prices. Somebody was asking about Cafe Pastello. This is the only size I see here. 10 ounces for five dollars and fifty cents yeah i don't know you know it's like having trouble finding some real good deals here today had a bunch of comments on swiss miss lately they do have it here it's not the cheapest regular price two dollars fifty cents but it has a price cut down to 220 and we had some more comments on the coffee mate coffee creamer uh, original coffee mate nestle seven dollars and 25 cents here regular price pretty much everywhere else is 6.99 now, as most of you know, we get ours at Sam's Club. It's basically double this for this about the same price. Like, I know some of them have gone up to $6.78. Some at Sam's Club are $6.98. But you're getting twice as much. Does look like Dollar General has gotten more stuff in as far as frozen items. Now, the Pillsbury Grand's here for $3. 
Well, that's actually a decent regular price now. We saw a Kroger, they're $3.29, at Meyer, $3.15. We can sometimes find sales on them this time of year. We'll have to keep our eyes out. So there's been a lot of talk on Pop lately. Thought we'd come back and check out some of these sales on Pop. They do have Pepsi or Mountain Dew, 12 packs, good until November 12th. Four for $12, making these $3 a six pack of the plastic bottles that is actually a pretty good deal most places we've been seeing uh three for twelve dollars so that's a dollar dollar a pack cheaper see that is pepsi and mountain dew i don't know if that includes some of the other ones here let's see nope not on coke coca-cola well now they are three for twelve looks like regularly for now or 4.75 so wait a minute though are these smaller these might be smaller Nope, 16.9 ounce bottles, same size. I don't expect to find a lot of water here, but there's been a lot of talk on water being very low or out in some grocery stores across the country. So I did want to point out they do have some. They got some Dasani and Aquafina, but you can see it's very low. I don't know how long it takes them to get in. They've got these big bottles here. Man, I haven't seen. That is really big for, look at that. <laughs> Uh, that is one and a half liters for one dollar. I want to point out for the Clover Valley sweet condensed milk here, it is two dollars and thirty-five cents for this. Two eighty-five for the Eagle Brand condensed milk. They do have a sale on it though, two for five. Um, on these, you do have to buy two of them, and they have the Eagle Brand evaporated milk here, two for three, making these a dollar fifty. It came a dollar seventy-five on sale. For the Nestle Carnation, dollar seventy-nine regular price, pretty much everywhere we've been, dollar seventy-nine to a dollar eighty-nine, so right about the same as everywhere. Do notice that their cheese is now three dollars, three dollars for the shredded cheese, and they have the Philadelphia cream cheese brick for three dollars and fifty cents, dollar fifty for the Clover Valley cream cheese, which we've actually gotten some good deals on, but that's pretty pricey. So twelve eggs here at Dollar General is four dollars and twenty-five cents. That is ridiculously crazy price they do have bird's eye vegetables here though for a dollar that's pretty good pretty good deal there do keep in mind that these are only 10 ounces but a dollar for bird's eye vegetables pretty good they've been kind of going up all over the place we've had some more comments on pet food lately also so i wanted to point out that this is another option um their cat litter is uh, smaller than in most stores this is the 10 pounds so you're getting half half of what you would get in most stores and it is eight dollars and fifty cents eight dollars and fifty cents for that eleven forty nine for twenty twenty pounds at kroger so yeah not as good of a deal for what dollar general usually carries they do have a pretty good amount of dry cat food pretty low on the canned cat food but i gotta say i mean at least they're getting some in it's the only place i've been able to find the nine lives ten for five dollars that makes these 50 cents a can that's a good deal if you can even find 10. friskies and fancy feast are a little more expensive than everywhere else though 85 cents a can for friskies 95 cents a can for fancy feast they do have some of the multi-packs here though got a nine lives multi-pack down here and one of the friskies but yeah it is another option they do have less canned dog food from the last time we were here but they are getting, you know, they're still getting it in. They have the items here, multi-pack. Some of the cans here, $1.85 a can. The items, $2.25 for Purina. We've been seeing Purina kind of go up in price lately. Also, they have a multi-pack for that. Plenty of pedigree and plenty of dry dog food. It does look like Gatorade has gone up again. The shrink-flated 28-ounce Gatorades. These were $1.35. Now $1.45 since the last time we were here. They do still have this deal. Buy four, get one free, though digital coupon buy four get one free makes it a little better one awesome thing they still have the star kiss chunk light tuna here for one dollar one dollar a can regular price also theirs is a dollar a can which is kind of funny i don't know i've never had clover valley tuna it seems like we got some okay comments star kiss though you know that one's going to be good dollar a can also guys always always no matter where you are make sure you check the expiration dates on everything or best if used by dates whatever you want to call it $1.35 a can regular price for SpaghettiOs. $1.25 a can still regular price for Chef Boyardee. 
does look like the Swanson chicken breast has gone up in a can here. It was $3.65, now $4. Looks like everything's gone up a little bit here. You can see where they've put stickers on top of stickers here. Uh, $3.60 for the Spam. This was $3.45 uh, not that long ago, but it's $3.59 pretty much everywhere. So I'm not too surprised to see that go up. They do have some of the chicken salads here. Chicken breasts, the small cans, $2.00 Clover Valley, $3.45 for... Now this is not 12, this is only 10 ounces, so 55 cents more, you get 28% more. This is 12.5 ounces for the Swanson, so that's a better deal. What I want to look at here, the Starkist, which they don't have many, the tuna creation. Well, these are the chicken creations, so yeah, for $1.75, yeah, I guess that's not terrible. Those are always a little more, and they have the Bumblebee chicken salad and Buffalo style chicken salad, $2.35, that is ridiculous. Um... Yeah, they have the Brunswick ones at Dollar Tree. They're made by Bumblebee. $1.25, so way cheaper. $1.10 cheaper there. And they taste exactly the same. It is exactly the same. All right, guys. Well, I am back from Dollar Tree. It was an absolute mess. Now, it's not so much that the shelves were empty. I mean, a lot of them were empty. A lot of the stuff we didn't go over, there was stuff for people to put away everywhere. There were uh, big carts full of things. There was one guy working in there. One guy, and I gotta say, he was doing as good of a job as he could possibly do. Uh, he was uh, handling all the customers. It got really packed in there. I wasn't able to go over everything I wanted to. Wanted to cover some of the baking items, spices, stuff like what we've been getting a lot of comments on. But I gotta say, Dollar General, did I say Dollar Tree? Dollar General is, is an absolute mess right now. The prices are going through the roof. Out of all the things that I saw, it, it, I, I could find cheaper anywhere else. When I went straight to the canned goods, we had a couple comments on Clover Valley canned vegetables. That's pretty much where it all started off. Uh, when you can get them three for $2, you know, not that 75 cents a can is much less, but it, it's the first impression, right? First impressions are everything. And it's like, you took that deal away. I don't know if it's worth that anymore. Things like the coffee, like even the, I don't know. It's like, this is supposed to be a value store. The only values that I saw there is like the dollar candy. Uh, they still have a bunch of dollar candy, which has been shrinkflated, Right. About the same as Dollar Tree, but at least you're spending a dollar on it and not a dollar twenty-five. Now we, you know, we found a lot of things at Dollar Tree that are way overpriced now too. Some good deals these days, but a lot of stuff that's overpriced. It was hard to really get around in there. I didn't get to cover everything that everybody asked for about Dollar General, um, but I, I just got to say it's like probably the craziest I've ever seen it in there, uh, as far as just things in the way. Couldn't get around. Uh, I'm looking at the stickers now, you know, a lot of these stores have had trouble putting up stickers. It looks like they have fixed that uh, because everything in there is way more expensive. And when I say way more expensive, we're finding things that we can find 40, 50 cents cheaper on just about every item except for candy at like Kroger and Meyer and Walmart. And it's like, you know, this was the last store that we really found like great deals on that I feel like it's just going up to everything else. Stuff like the sugar, uh, the flour, okay priced. Even things, little things like cornstarch baking soda is like 10, 20 cents higher than what you're gonna find at most other places. I know we have a lot of Dollar General shoppers on the channel here, so I'm gonna be fair and go over some of the sales. I couldn't go over a lot of stuff there. there it w I didn't wanna be pushing things out of the way. I didn't wanna get in anybody's way. It did start to get a little crowded. I did get my $5 off $25 for Saturday, and it's a good thing because they do have some sales that are coming up. One big thing that they have going on is 50% off Christmas decor. One thing I did see there was like little Christmas trees. No big Christmas trees there, but I saw a lot of like three, four foot trees. Um, they had a 25% off thing going on. Some of them were $20, not really big, maybe three feet tall. But I mean, that for any kind of little tree these days, I felt like that was a good deal. And these are the things that we can find good deals at, at Dollar General. But um, so the Clover Valley Sugar, they have like a BOGO deal, buy one, get one free. It doesn't explain though the little details so i'm not really sure uh maybe maybe you can get a thing of sugar 
uh, it says two sixty five. Uh, get it for free. Digital coupon. So you may have to go onto their uh, your digital your account, Dollar General account. Um, but it doesn't say like here. It doesn't say two for that. These other ones say two for two, two for three. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm not really sure. Maybe it is just the sugar because it's actually on the sugar. I, I, I don't like when ads come out like this because it makes it look, they put it in the center and they make it look like all of these, but it's making me think that the sugar is the only one. So you have to pretty much get online to find out for sure if that's really it. And they do have some other um, two for 252 liters. That is Doc, Dr. Pepper, Canada Dry, a and W, or 7-Up. So... You know, one thing I will say about Dollar General and a lot of these other dollar stores is that they normally name off item per item. So it's like, if it's not going to say, you know, it, they may just have regular Coca-Cola on sale. It may not have Diet Coke or Sprite or some of these other ones. You really have to check the stickers and don't count on Sprite or, you know what I'm saying? Like an extra one of that product, it may not be on that sale. And, and that's, that's another thing I just don't like about some of these stores. Now they are going to have three for 12. So these are $4 a 12 pack. Now we're gonna have to check Kroger, right? Cause I'm, I'm going to Kroger tomorrow. We're gonna check out all the holiday deals. I know everybody's been talking about the turkeys. You know, I'm gonna be checking out the turkey. Uh, give a quick spoiler for that. Yes, I've had some questions in the comments on that. It is 49 cents a pound for the Kroger turkeys. Now, um, people are expecting they're gonna fly off the shelves. They're gonna get more. Uh, they're gonna keep getting them. They, you know, they wouldn't have such a, cause it is a good deal. 49 cents a pound. And apparently, at least in this area, you only have to spend $25 extra to get that deal. Very easy to spend $25 at Kroger um, to make that $0.49 cents a pound. They didn't used to do that around here, but they have the last couple years. And uh, we've gotten comments uh, from the East and West Coast where it's like, you got to spend like $250 to get a turkey, maybe a free turkey or one for that. So I kind of feel like we're, we're pretty blessed to only have to spend $25. Plus you can spend $25 in seconds on things that you need in Kroger. And we're going to go over some of those things here tomorrow. Um, you know, there's a lot of random sales. What I would recommend doing instead of me going through all of this, I would go on Dollar General's website. Uh, if you have the digital coupons, you do not need this receipt. You can print that off or just have it on your phone like we do anyway. But um, it's nice to have the, the receipt just in case something goes wrong because you never know these days. Um, I like Dollar General, but we're seeing prices really go up. We're seeing them on everything. And I'm not too surprised because we've been getting a lot of comments that most people who've been shopping at Dollar General have gone up to the register just to find out that everything has gone up to a quarter to 50 cents. And, you know, they've uh, had, we've had no complaints of them not honoring that deal. Um, I, that even happened to me a few weeks ago where they gave it to me and then they rushed over to change the sticker. So, you know, they are having some problems, but you know, it's like when you only have one employee or, you know, it's like I've said at the particular dollar general I was at, there's usually two to three employees. That's why I understand why there's only one. I mean, you need at least two people. So yeah, not the greatest trip today. They can't all be wonderful. I was hoping to find a lot more, uh, Thanksgiving items, uh, I couldn't get to it. There was like this, maybe they were starting to put up a little Thanksgiving area. I saw more marshmallows on one side and they had the Libby's uh, pumpkin. I couldn't even see a price. Couldn't see a price. There was stuff stacked up everywhere. And that's kind of how the whole trip was today. Um, I didn't, you know, as I showed the eggs, the milk, four fifteen a gallon. That's the same price as it's been. Um, but some of the things like coffee. Yeah, I feel like you can't go up much higher than that or people ain't going to buy it. We will be continuing our adventure to find the cheapest deals on all of the holiday items. We're gonna be uh, taking notes of everything that you guys ask about that you're having. I know a lot of people have been having trouble finding certain items in the stores. We will continue to seek those out to help uh, find them and maybe you be able to check on some of the, you know, Kroger's is a big one. Kroger's is a big one for us all around the country because uh, we can compare. We have other Kroger's own stores where, you know, they may have it. So we can check on those get things. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. We do these videos every morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure 
is out there. Thank you.